Welcome to CarDesign.Academy. Today I'm going to show you a very, very important tool in developing a vehicle package. Uh, this is called the Rigged Chassis. So if I go into my uh, prefabs menu, you'll see a little image of a chassis here called Rigged Chassis. I'm going to click on it and you'll see a set of wheels. And you'll also see a set of dimensions. And so very quickly I can dial in the exact dimensions of the vehicle I want to do. Uh, you can use as a benchmark uh, an existing vehicle. Uh, I'm going to start with something that is um, it's going to be yeah 255, 40, uh, 19. I'm going to I'm going to bump that up to uh, 20. You can see I can I can uh, uh, change the tire diameter. I'm going to change the the overall width to 1700. And uh, and then you can see the the dimensions updating in real time. Now you can also uh, you can also go into uh, the model itself, and you can see there's arrows here. So uh, you can you can change the wheelbase this way just by by grabbing an arrow and moving it this way. So I'm I'm actually going to uh, increase the wheelbase to uh, about 2,800. Okay, this is this is be like a typical sports car uh, wheelbase. Seventeen hundred uh, is the track. You can see it's it's actually measured at the uh, tire center to tire center. So if you want a, a, a uh, an overall width close to two meters, uh, you're going to want to have it at about seventeen hundred, and then I can bump the tire width to uh, three hundred. Can also play around with rim rim diameter. I'm going I'm to bump that up to 21. But we can also uh, bring the tire aspect ratio down. Right now it's set to 51. I'm going to bring it down to 35. So that'd be like a typical sports car uh, tire ratio, tire sidewall ratio. So, so if you're familiar with how tire sizing works, the, the uh, 300 would be the width of the tire. 35 would be the aspect ratio, which would be a percentage of the width of the tire. And then you have the uh, the rim diameter, which is measured in inches. Um, it's actually measured, um, <clears throat> like I saw a 21 inch wheel um, actually measures, if you were to measure the rim, actually measures about 22 and a half inches because it's measured at the beat of the tire and not the part of the rim that overlaps the tire. So, so that's how you set up a rigged chassis. So now, uh, I can also go into my prefabs, bring in a mannequin, turn the mannequin around. I'm going to use the same um, tune shader. Now I can position the mannequin in a driver's position. Bring the driver down close to the to the ground and to the side. And I'm going to turn on my mirror plane. I'm going to duplicate that driver. And since this is going to be a passenger, I'm going to kind of, kind of put the arms in more of a, a resting position. So I'm setting up a package for, for some some sort of a, like a classically designed uh, coupe, you know, front engine coupe. Could be battery electric, but but this will have the cabins kind of set towards the rear, and and uh, and so so now I have everything I need to to sketch uh, a really cool car. So um, and it's dimensionally accurate. If I go into full size, if I you know if I uh, go into human scale, everything is right where it needs to be. So now I can just go ahead and start sketching. I'm going to go ahead and turn on um, planar. So, so now I can do like a center line silhouette.
and do something really elegant and, and beautiful. Bring these occupants up just a little bit. Just going to give this cabin a little bit of rotational taper. Turn off planer so I can sketch a little more freely. One thing you should know is these wheels are, are not real objects, so You don't you, you don't have to worry about editing them by accident. Eventually you're gonna build your own your own wheels. This thing almost looks like a classic Mercedes SL. I'm just trying to imagine shapes and forms. Sections, that kind of thing. So now I can look at this car in full size and, and get a real instant impression of what this thing's gonna look like in scale, in, in full scale. I can walk around it and it's all dimensionally accurate. So that's the power of rig chassis. You can instantly uh, develop an accurate vehicle package, get everything in the right proportions and just start sketching. So thanks for watching.